Hello folks, how's it going? It's Des Catties. I'm out in my little shed for a change. It's not a Tales from the Shed though, but do you want to hear the tune? Tales from the Shed, even though it's not a Tales from the Shed. Tales from the Shed, even though it's not a Tales from the Shed. Tales from the Shed, even though it's not a Tales from the Shed. From your host, Dead Catties. Alright folks, how's it going? Right, so in this little video, um, uh, I definitely had one person, uh, Beacon Bushcraft, Go and check him out, lovely little channel, only small, I'll, I'll put a link in the description, go and check it out, his videos are lovely, better than mine, and it goes out with him and his dog and they do a bit, anyway I digress, well he asked um, in the last video, which I actually thought they were talking, that he was actually talking about me collapsible pot hanger, he wasn't, he was actually on about this. Now we all love a toggle, don't we? A lot of videos on toggles. I know uh, Neil from Greencraft, he does a lot of toggling. And, uh, and and obviously you see in my videos that I like a toggle as well. But basically what I've done is I've sort of souped up the toggle. Now this is just a quick sort of like little project that you can do out in your shed. You can even do one out in the woods if you really want to. All right. Now, if you know, normally, a, you know, a normal sort of toggle system, if you like, will just be a, a hole drill through the middle and then you'll have your piece of cord of choice that you want to use for, you know, whether it's suspending it over the fire, whether it's using it as part of your shelter system, whatever, whatever. Okay, but when I was out here a little while back, I was just mucking around, the old mind wanders as it does. And what I'd done was I actually thought I'd soup up my little toggle. Now... Some people, if you don't know, and I have mentioned it in videos past, um, if you were to get a piece of wood, drill a hole through the middle, attach a piece of paracord, and then you decide that you want to place it inside your water bottle and suspend it over the fire, if the paracord or the cord of your choice is through the middle, you can sometimes struggle in actually getting the toggle out. Okay? which is just like so. But if you have it where you've got on the version that I've now made, you know, I mean, this is nothing at all, but even if you can either one, you can either just drill a hole off, off the side to the middle, off one side, okay, and then drill your hole, then put your piece of paracord through. What happens is when you actually put it into the bowl, okay, it catches on the shoulder, but then when you just push it down, it will come out, all right? Now what I've done just to sort of soup it up a bit more, so I've literally just drilled two holes into, a, into the toggle, alright, so you can then attach your piece of paracord of choice, lengthwise it's totally up to you, as I'll do mine, I mean what's that, that's probably about a foot and a half, but foot and a half, maybe two foot at the most, um, and then I've literally just put overhand knots one either end, you can use um, bow lines and stuff like that, and then also what I've done, I've literally just added a little sort of like a, it's more a saw cut than it is a beak notch, all right? And literally all, I, all I've done with that is I've literally just cut in with a, with a saw at an angle, shaped it off a little bit, and then if you want to, if you don't want to do it the way where you can normally just use your toggle, okay, and then run it through the bail arm there like so, you can do it this way. Again, you haven't got to do it, you know, I'm not pressuring you, but it's just a little project there for you to do. And then you've got that option. All right, and that's all there is to it. So what you want to do is you get yourself a piece of wood. All right, doesn't matter. This is a piece of, uh, actually, so I think this might be a piece of willow or something like that. Anyway, so you've got a piece of wood there. And then what you want to do is just strip off the bark. The reason why you strip off the bark is just because the bark harbours bacteria. If you've got a full water bottle, you know, you might get some bacteria in your water bottle, even though it's boiling over a strong heat anyway. So let's, let's take the bark off. So once all your bark's removed, all right, you can get a piece of sandpaper or abronet, give it a rub down if you so wish. Then what I like to do as well is just put a bevel on the end now. Just do that all the way around on either end. Doesn't matter which you know which way you do it, whether you do it at the beginning or at the end, blah blah blah. Alright, so we literally are just now putting a putting a little bevel. I haven't got my glasses on, so I might end up cutting my fingers off. Alright. Okay, so there we go. That's the first bit. 
so no hard and fast rule there you just work out the middle of your uh, of your toggle maybe sort of go that that one's going to be sort of like in the middle there somewhere there and then what you want to do then is just put your other one somewhere about there all right so we're now going to do do drill two holes into that piece of wood um, got my power tool i've got a six mil drill bit in now okay so i'm just going to place that in the vise Oh. So we've got one, and then we drill a second one. Okay. Then get me a little knife. If it's a little bit sort of, you know, a little bit tatty around the edges, just get your knife in now and carve those bits out, make them a little bit tidier. You know, I'm doing this quite quick, folks. I mean, you know, off camera, you can take your time with it. But you'll kind of get the picture. All right, that's probably not that tight. Let's take that down a bit more. Just flatten it off. Doesn't matter whether you use it, which way round you use it. Okay, something like that. All right. All right, so now what I'm going to decide, I think I've got a little bit more space up there in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use that to do my saw cut on. So again, I'll stick that in the vise there like so. Then I'll get my uh, saw. Actually, just, let's just leave it running, eh? It don't really matter. Let's take that up, something like there. Okay, and then what we're going to do now, we're literally just going to cut a saw cut into it at an angle. So you can do a big notch if you want. Don't cut it all, all the way through. So something like that. And then what you're going to do now, you are literally going to make that hook just big enough, obviously for your bail arm to go in. So depending on what sort of pot of choice you're using, if you're using a TBS one or, or if you're using like a wire bail arm, then obviously you uh, you know you work that out through through your own choice so something like that it hasn't got me no hard and nothing hard and fast so if I'm using my bail alarm I've actually just not long I've literally just this week added that on now and uh, and then there you go all right so that's that bit done so that fits in there sweet what I'll do is I'll get a bit of abronet out nice bit of abronet and then we'll just give that a rub down. And now that is pretty, that's it. You know, that, that's pretty much it, right? Now what you can do, you can fancy it up, put a bit of, you know, a bit of burning on there, a bit of coal rose in or something like that. Um, you know, you haven't even got to do it now. You can stick that in your pocket or in your pack or whatever, length of paracord or whatever cord of choice that you're going to use. So what I'm going to do now is I'm literally just going to thread that through there like so. Okay, then bring it round, thread that through there. All right, then I'm going to put a little overhand knot in that end. Obviously, because you don't want it slipping out all the time. All right, and then at this end, you can either put an overhand knot or you can tie a bowline into it. The rabbit comes out the hole, it goes round the tree and then back inside. And then there's your bowline. All right. Do you remember that from when you was in Cubs or Scouts? All right. And there it is, folks. All right. So simple as simple as that. All right. So now you can either have it central, okay, and then put it onto your bail arm of your your water but uh, your your cup of choice, which is there like so. All right. We ain't got no water in there at the moment, but you kind of get the picture. All right. Then if you want it the other way, this little bit's tangled up, mate. Right now. All right, then if you want to do it, we'll leave that bow line in there for a sec. And then you've obviously got it where you can just attack, hang it that way. And then obviously just by having it offset, 
you then got that option then to hang it inside your water bottle for it to catch on the shoulder and then it's easier to get out. So there it is folks, all right, just a quick video there on the toggle. Well, I don't know how long it's going to be, but there it is. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you think it's a good idea, then obviously leave a little comment, check out the description and go over and have a look at, um, you know, give uh, Beacon Bushcrafter uh, a, uh, a subscribe. All right, folks, see you later. See you on the next one.